in this module we will talk about the renewal equation which is an integral equation that relates the distribution of the inter arrival times to expectation of n t ok. So, as usual let n t be a renewal process with inter arrival distribution some f x ok, c d f is given and let m of t is equal to expectation of n of t. So, n t is a random variable for each t, <coughs> its expected value is some function m of t ok. So, I am going to relate m of t to the c d f ok and that uh, that will give, give us a integral equation called the renewal equation that is what we are going to derive ok. So, we know this right n t is a non negative random variable. So, we know that expectation of n t <coughs> is equal to uh, sum over n probability of correct because n t is a uh, is a non, non negative integer value random variable correct, but n t what is probability of n t greater than or equal to n it is equal to probability of s n less than or equal to t correct. So, this is true for all t therefore, m of t is for all t greater than 0 ok. So, in principle see I am given the c d f of x i s correct and what is this? This is the c d f of s n. So, given the c d f of x i s I can find the c d f of s n for each n by by what convolution right because they are iid random variables but it is just an n fold convolution of the distribution of x with itself right. So, the c d f of s n is easy to find out and then you sum for each n uh, n is equal to 1 to infinity you take this sum and that should be your m t ok. So, in principle this is very easy ok, but in practice this is very cumbersome you have to do n fold convolution and take this infinite sum for larger and larger n this is a, it can be a big headache right. So, it turns out you can simplify this a little more ok. So, note that S n is equal to S n minus 1 plus X n right. So, I can write this probability that is basically the probability that S n minus 1 is less than or equal to T minus X. <coughs> and probability that x is less than or equal to x i x n is less than or equal to little x right and I can run x over 0 to t ok. So, this is again because Uh, independence right I am using in basically I am writing the convolution between s n minus 1 and x n right <coughs> there is nothing but the convolution ok except I am writing of the c d f ok. 
right since these guys are independent x n and s n minus 1 are independent right. So, I have if I go back to this right substituting back I have m of t is equal to I have n is equal to 1 uh, I have probability that s 1 less than or equal to t which is just the c d f of x right. So, I have f x of t plus sum over n is equal to 2 to infinity integral 0 to t probability s n minus 1 less than or equal to t minus x d f x of x. What have I done? I have just substituted my integra integral uh, inter this convolution integral into that summation. I have pulled out the term n is equal to 1 which is simply the CDF of S 1 which is the CDF of X 1 which is F X right. The first term is nothing but probability S 1 less than or equal to 2 v t which is just F X of t. Then I have 2 to infinity of all this where I have put in the summation right. I have put in the integration. Now I am going to interchange the order of this summation and integral and all that is legitimate because the integrand is non negative ok. So, what does that leave me with? So, that is equal to plus integral 0 to t uh, I am going to pull the sum in right n is equal to 2 to infinity probability that s n minus 1 is less than or equal to t minus x d f x. What I have just interchanged sum and integral ok and now note that I can make this sum see if you would not mind me doing this right if I put n is equal to 1 to infinity I can just write this as S n that you will not mind I am just uh, re indexing. Now, look at what this guy is what is this guy? This guy is this guy is just m of t minus x because m of t is in this blue box correct. So, what do I get? So, I get if I just write it again m of t is equal to f x t plus integral 0 to t m of t minus x d f x of x. Okay. Now, this equation is an integral equation known as the renewal equation. Okay. It is just an integral equation that relates <coughs> f x the c d f f x which is known to us to m of t which we want to find out right. See in principle in this equation f x t is known correct. So, you can in principle solve for m of t by solving this integral equation correct. So, when you have an integral equation like this, so when you have certain uh, integral equations or differential equations which are linear what is the best way to solve it? By taking some transform or the other right you typically take some moment generating function Laplace transform whatever and so this is a linear integral equation right. So, you can solve it using Laplace transform or moment generating function which is all the same thing ok which is what uh, which is a good approach to solve this equation ok. 
So, I solving it in this t domain is a bit uh, is a bit tricky because you are solving this solving integral equation directly may, may be a headache ok. So, shall we you guys familiar with Laplace transform right. Laplace transform and moment generating function are basically the same thing except for a minus sign. Moment generating function has a minus sign Laplace transform does not have a minus sign that is the only difference ok. Maybe we can use uh, let us just use Laplace transform to solve this. <coughs> uh, linear integral equation. Okay. So let L x of s be the Laplace transform of Okay. So, you can just write, write the renewal equation as follows you will get L m of s is equal to uh, you have the C d f here which is the integral of the P d f correct. So, when you integrate in the T domain what happens in the Laplace domain? Uh, if you differentiate you multiply by s. So, you integrate you divide by s right. So, you get uh, L x of s over s okay. plus this guy is just a convolution correct. So, you should get what in the Laplace domain convolution becomes a product right. So, you will get L m of s times L x of s. Okay. This is by you guys are experts in Laplace transform right signals and systems. So, you get this which is with this is not some uh, this is exactly the renewal equation in transform domain ok. I have not said something new I have just taken transform ok. From this I can get which is the Laplace transform of m t is nothing but L x of s over s times 1 minus L x of s. Okay. So, what have I done? So, I want to really solve for m t right. I can solve for m t using the integral equation which is the renewal equation. And since it is a linear equation I have taken Laplace transforms and I have expressed the Laplace transform of m t which is nothing but L m of s in terms of L x of s. L x of s is known to me because given the distribution of x i s I can take its Laplace transform and put L x into this equation and get L m of s. So, if I give you that x is distributed like so and so you put the transform here you will get the transform of L m of s and you invert back to get m of t right you guys are experts at this right. In fact, if L x of s is rational transform if it is looking something like some polynomial over some other polynomial in s you can just put this back you will get some other ratio of two polynomials which you can invert using all this partial fraction tricks that you are familiar with right. So, now you can do many number of exercises in this if I tell you that L, L x of x is some so sorry if uh, x i s or Erlang whatever or whatever you pull put it here and put in here and calculate L m of s then invert back ok. So, this is always true, but it is particularly useful this guy is uh, 
in finding m t as a function of t when L x of s is a rational transform. Okay, it is always true, but all I am saying is if L x of s is rational, so will L m of s be rational, right. So, then you can invert back and get some explicit answer putting partial fractions fight it out, you will get some explicit answer for m of t. Okay. Actually, it turns out that you can use this to prove elementary renewal theorem also. Okay. There is a root, there is an approach to proving m of t over t goes to 1 over x bar even using this the transform. Okay. We used a truncation argument even uh, through this route you can take to prove elementary renewal theorem. Okay, uh, I stop here.